Did you ask her what happened to the cabinet? I did not ask her or um, state have anything. Any, have any conversation with Correct. her? Correct. How did she appear? When I first got there, she was like nervous, kind of, you know, cursing under her breath as if she was caught in something that she wasn't supposed to be doing. Did you get there in the evening? Yes, mid-evening. Was anybody else there? I did not go on the other side of the house, but I only interacted with her. So you only saw her? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Can I see the video now, sure. All right, here's the TV that's got the little spot on it right here. You can clearly see that that's, uh, that's what caused the TV to go out. But you can see the line and the screen. And you can see the board does work. Cause... Yeah, it won't stay on. Anyway, you can see where the line stops, right at the dot, right at the chip. That's definitely what caused the TV to come out. Okay, Ms. Brazell, how did the cabinet get broken? Um, Your Honor... Um, look there, right here. I'm sorry. How did the cabinet get broken? The Airbnb guests that were staying at the home, um, a fellow by the name of Charles, came upstairs into Michael Wilson's room. He wasn't invited. And when he came upstairs, I said, he was drunk. When he came upstairs, I told him that Mike doesn't want anybody in his room. And he just said, I want to see the guns collection. So when he came in the room, he's a big guy. When he came in the room, he was just looking at the what guns. What month? That was in March or end of February. I don't remember the exact date. I want you to think hard. I do. I want you to think hard. Was it before or after this young man came? It would have been came? towards the end of February because my birthday is March the 10th. Was it before or after this young man came to the house? It was before he came to the house. How many days before he came to the house did this person from the Airbnb come in to see the guns of this big guy? How many days before he came? It was probably about two weeks. Because it, well, I, I know for a fact. It was two weeks because the first week that it happened... Just a second. Two weeks before. So tell me what the big guy did. Tell me what the big guy did. He came in. He came in there, and he was looking at the guns, and he picked up one of the assault rifles, and he took out the magazine, dropped it on the bed, dropped another bullet out of the chamber, and then he was just waving it around, looking at it like this and that, and then he put it out like this, and the gun went off. There was okay. an another bullet just down in the thing. I just, shh. Yeah. Just a second. And then what did he do? The, well, everybody stood no, frozen. Who, who's everybody? Well, myself and him and Jacqueline. What's a Jacqueline? Her name is Jacqueline. <laughs> what was she doing there? She was helping me take care of Mike's mom. You just told me you did very little else for she... his mother. You would gotta help her get food. Nice. She didn't need any medication. You don't need a license. What did she need two people for? You got where I'm going. Yes, ma'am. All but... right, now, so you and Jacqueline are there with big whatever his name is, <laughs> despite the fact that you told him not to touch anything, took out a gun, fired the gun. I'd like to see the police report. We didn't call the police. Why not? Why not? Were you all drunk? No, so no ma'am, I was not drinking. Drugging? No. No. They slept together, Your Honor. Just a second. Listen to me. Slept together. Listen to me. <laughs> okay. I know my customers. Yeah. I've been doing this for 50 years. No good. 50, 5 -0. My apologies. Very good. Now, you didn't call the police, and when did you call the plaintiff to tell him that his property was damaged? I did not call him. <laughs> right. Oh, Excuse me. Right. Can May I... I please see the repair of the cabinet, the repair of your TV? There you go. And one more. Right here. Thank you. One was the original receipt from Dell where I purchased it. The other one was from that day the TV repair guy came. I got it. Cost of TVs have gone down. She's lucky. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,400. We're done. Counterclaims dismissed. We're finished. Oh, wow. Why is that excused? You may step out. Well, it went as it should. Uh, Judge Judy is a very smart cookie. <laughs> she can read through. It was very obvious. I didn't have anything to do with the gun. I didn't shoot the gun. Her and the guy who, who shot the gun cabinet, they slept together. That's not at all what happened. I found out she's a convicted felon 20 times over. He's a liar.